Is there any security officer? Please come, sir. Please come. I want to share something with you. This man is a security officer. Please stand. Look at everybody. Do you know that when I go to wherever he's working, he has the power to stop me. Are you listening? He has the power to what? Even right now, he has that power. The one that he uses Monday to Friday, it's still in him. But guess what? As we stand, he does not have the authority. I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. He does not have what? Because for him to have authority, he must have his uniform on. Without his uniform, he has the power, but he does not have the authority. Because when I'm looking at him right now, I am not looking at him as a security officer. I am looking at him as a man of God. I feel like I'm prophesying in this place. Ah, can I prophesy? On Monday, when he has his uniform on, he no longer just has power, but he now has authority. When I go to his workplace, I no longer just see the man of God. I know that he has his uniform. He's standing at his office. And when he says stop, I must stop because now he has the authority. I don't think you understand what I'm here to do. I'm here to prophesy to somebody. You have always had the power in you. But now you will stand in your office. The office of an apostle. The office of a prophet and a prophetess. I the office of an evangelist. I the office of a pastor and a teacher. I you will stand in the office of an intercessor. I and you will begin to declare. You will begin to walk on snakes and scorpions. I in the name of Jesus. Amen. Touch somebody say, God is restoring you. God is restoring you. Aye, 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 aye. Glory. Are you here? Yeah. God needs to restore the authority to his people. But the problem is that we are living life. We are too shy. We are timid. Afraid to take on what rightfully belongs to us. We are afraid to take a stand for our families. We are too afraid to stand in the gap. Too afraid to say, devil, you have messed with my family for far too long. This today is the end of it. Why are you afraid of being a pillar? Why are you afraid of being a cash breaker? Why are you afraid of being a person of authority? Why are you afraid of rising up to your post as the Lord has ordained you? Why are you afraid when the Lord has already empowered you? Sit down, please. I'm going to prophesy. Don't go. Prophesy, Baba. Are you here? Glory. Are you here? Glory. Are you here? Glory. Give your neighbor a high five and say, neighbor, you have power. Neighbor, you have power. Say, neighbor, you have power. Neighbor, you have power. Say, neighbor, you have power. You have power. Glory. We serve a mighty God. Ay, ay, when the Lord restores your authority, your words are not just words. Even if somebody does not want to listen to you, but because of the rank you possess, because of the rank that you already have, somebody has no choice but to listen to the words of your mouth. Why are we praying every day? Why are we believing every day? Why are we fasting on a daily basis? Why are we always in the presence of God? 
most of the time when we, if we were to inspect each person's prayers we would actually realize that even most of your prayers have nothing to do with you they have nothing to do with praising the Lord giving him the worship that he deserves no it is filled with the situations that people are going through on a daily basis filled with the problems filled with people that you are interceding for Lord if you can touch my mother my mother has been sick for 10 years Lord if you can just use somebody to bless it that's been your prayers all this time you see it has nothing to do with you or your worship to the Lord so the more you are praying and believing and fasting what happens in the spiritual world you increase glory I don't know if you know this. Yes, sir. Teach us, Papa. You increase in capacity. Are we together? We increase in what? Capacity. In capacity. We increase in our spiritual weight. There, 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 there are light weights in the spirit. And then there are heavy weights in the spirit. Teach us, Papa. A person who is in the presence of God for 30 hours of the week is different from one who spends three hours in the presence. They are not the same. And it will be feasible when you are dealing with demonic activities. Sure. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are you here? Yes, sir. Do you remember in Acts chapter number 19, they saw a man named Paul a man full of the Holy Ghost and power. Sir, please sit down for a moment. I'll prophesy to you. I'll prophesy to you. But before you go, prophesy. Where are your children? They are here, right? They are here. Yes. Okay. I'm going to prophesy to you. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to prophesy. It's fine. It's fine. I'll call you back. You must remind me. Jesus. Can we, what was I talking about? I already saw something I need to address, but I'm coming back. Don't worry. Huh? What was I talking about? No, I was not talking about prophecy. You guys, are you in church even? What was I talking about? X19. You guys, you are just waiting for prophecy. What was I talking about? Prophesy. <laughs> Spiritual strength. Paul, full of the Holy Ghost. People were coming to him. He did not call them. They were coming to him with handkerchiefs. Yes, sir. And they did not even ask for his permission. They just stole the anointing. They went to whoever that was possessed or sick, took those handkerchiefs, placed it on them, and those people recovered. So seven young boys saw an opportunity. They said, ah, our lives are about to change. <laughs> Do you remember that uh, possessed guy who used to chase us every day on the streets? When daddy sends us to the shop, let's go to him. Out of all demons they could have chosen, why did they choose that one? Yes. It means there's a history between them and this person. I think you, don't, you didn't get what I just said. There's a history between them and that person. They said, let's go there. They went. And when they got there, they said, we are here to cast you out. In the name whom Paul preaches. We are not here to cast you out ourselves. We don't have the capacity. And it was not one, it was seven. Seven came and were declaring the same thing. We are here to deal with you. Whatever name that that man uses, that's the name we came with. Aye, aye, aye. Then the demonic possessed guy said, Oh, Paul, I know, I know that one. The name that you don't want to mention, Jesus. I also know. But you guys, I don't know you. Yeah. 
And the demon beat them up. Can you imagine they were beating up seven guys beaten by one person. On top of that, they were humiliated. All of them were beaten up and they ran away out of that house naked. Can you imagine the humiliation? That means that spiritually they never had rank. They did not have the power and the authority to address that spirit. Features, Are we together? Amen. Let me tell you something about people that have an increased spiritual rank. And so that you know what happens when you have a spiritual an increased spiritual rank. When you enter a place with people who are carrying demons, they begin to be uncomfortable around you. That's number one. They are uncomfortable around you. And if they were speaking, all of a sudden there will be movement. Everyone will start going away. They will ask you the most random question. Just to try and get your attention of what you are descending spiritually. That shows you that these people, your rank has increased in such a way that it disturbs the demonic activities in them. Wow. wow. Glory. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Number two, a sign to know that you have an increased spiritual rank is that when you get to a place, people can start fighting because of you. Because of you, people can start fighting. It shows that you have an increased spiritual rank. When you have an increased spiritual rank, people will fight you also, just for the sake that you are a child of God. They've never seen you go to church. They've never seen you read the Bible. They've never seen you praise and worship the Lord. They don't know how crazy you get when you speak in tongues. But for the fact that they know you are a child of God, they will begin to fight you. They look for reasons to get you fired. They look for reasons to get family members to turn against you. They look for reasons to get everybody to hate you. That's when you know that you've got an increased spiritual rank and it affects them. Yeah. Are you understanding what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. When you have an increased spiritual rank, you are known in places that you've never been to. You are known in places where you've never set foot. Your name has reached there. Some have already dreamt of you. When they see your face, they know who you are. Because the Lord has already revealed who this person is. They were ready to cast out a demon. The demon did not go out. The demon cast them out. No. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. Refuse to be cast out by a demon. Refuse to be cast out by a demon. Know your God well enough. Know the relationship you have with the Holy Spirit well enough to never be troubled by things in the demonic world. In fact, you should be so strong in the spirit that you know exactly what you are dealing with before anybody even mentions it. Are we in